Hey guys, it's Julia and welcome back to the reading vlog. Um, so today is June 9th and I just want to update you guys on my reading. So I just uploaded a little reading vlog that was kind of like sporadic clips that I've gotten. So hopefully I'll actually stick to this one and make sure I do it more consistently and update you guys more. But for a reading update, I am currently listening to an audiobook and I'm listening to the audiobook of Listen to Your Heart by Casey West. This is like a cute little YA summer romance and it's about like a this school who has like and this girl's like in a podcast class and she her podcast is like an advice podcast and then there's some like little romances in there and it's very cute. She's like on a lake or like her family works for like on a thing I don't even know how to explain it <laughs> yeah like her family works on a lake kind of thing I don't know something like that um but yes so far it's super good I have about two and a half hours left so I've listened to a lot of that today but yeah I'm really enjoying it it's super cute and it's, I think it's like perfect for what I'm in the mood for right now yeah, so it is Tuesday I actually ended up finishing that book yesterday I started it and finished it yesterday so happy about that oh look the book's making it all reflective um so I finished Listen to Your Heart by Casey West I listened to the audiobook of this one I ended up really liking it it's super cute it's like a little pod like it's like a podcast there's a lake like it's a perfect little summary read i really enjoyed this i read another casey west this month but i ended up liking this one more i think i'm giving it around like a 3.75 um i still have to write my goodreads review because i made notes and everything so i have to do that but this was so cute i really enjoyed it and the audiobook was pretty good as well and like it was good enough that i ended up finishing it in a day which is kind of weird for me especially with audiobooks because I usually don't binge audiobooks, um, not because I don't want to, it's just because I, I get bored or like, not, not get bored, I don't know. Okay, but yes, yeah, so today I'm going to be out all day, so I don't know what I'm going to read. We will figure it out. Um, there's so many things I could read. Like, by the way, I reorganized my shelves a while ago. So I ended up putting all my poetry and manga and graphic novels on one shelf and like my king swap i swapped it and then i have my little like virgin suicide shrine over here it's adorable yes um so i did that stephen king these are all organized and whatever talk about that later if you care um but then i have this <laughs> so this is a problem because this does not fit over there clearly so I'm like, what do I do with it? So yeah, and I'm still buying books. Like I just bought the Kiss Quotient the other day. So I'm like, yikes. So I, I don't know. I read this recently too. This was, um, this was pretty good actually. It was, it's written by a booktuber, Kate's Book Date. I quite liked that one. She sent it to me. Um, yeah, but this was like a phone case that I got. Um, yeah, I don't know. Cool, I need to find something to read. We'll figure it out and I'll update you later. So, I'm like crouching trying to get in frame, but it is about 5 p.m. now and I started a book when I was out. I didn't make too much progress, but I'm happy with the progress I made. So I'm reading Escaping from Houdini. I finally was like, come on, Julia, you gotta read it because I want to read it and I'm so excited. Like I was so excited about it that I wasn't reading it because I was so excited and trying to like stall. So like I just started it today and I'm on page 72. So yes, I'm very excited about this one. So far I'm really liking it. It's giving me Agatha Christie vibes for some reason. Um, but yes, this is the third book of the Song of Jack the Ripper series. Yes, I'm enjoying it so far. I'm kind of like not taking my time but like I'm not in like a rush to finish it. Um, I also got a few things in the mail, so I have a book depository order, page habit unboxing. This is for June, so super excited about this. We'll open these two, the <laughs> book depository one. Page habit? I don't, I don't have, I don't know. I avoid other people's unboxings till I get my own, obviously. 
Plus, I actually don't watch a lot of unboxings unless it's like joint unboxings. But anyways, I don't care. Um, this is doo -doo -doo -doo, It Only Happens in the Movies by Holly Bourne. This, uh, if you don't know, she wrote, wrote the Spencer Club trilogy and this is one of her other books it's i don't know bad boys turn good kisses in the rain climate it only happens in the movies when andre meets harry it's the start of a truly sim cinematic romance or is it um knows that he is every movie cliche rolled into one but she still she split him into her heart um i've enjoyed her hollyborn's other stuff and i also bought this for my friend kayla for her birthday so i was hoping to like do a buddy read with her or something like that so i got that um did it come with a bookmark Oh my god, it did, yes. Wait, what? Oh, this is so cute. Who's your book bestie? And it has... Aw, to my book bestie. This is so cute. Okay, that makes me so happy. So we... So this is what we got. So first up, we got the two cards. Oh shit, I already know what it is. <laughs> I have that book. I have an arc. Oh well. Girl tried. I'll probably give, give that to someone maybe because I don't need it. <laughs> Let's see. This is the note from the author, as usual. We got a note from the author. I love the glare. We got a note from the author, and we have an info card that has all the boxes, picks, as well as our donation of the month that is contributed. Reading on the move with gimbal. This like keeps your page open. I love when these stupid little like not stupid. I love these little gadgets that they put in. Like they're so cute and addicting and like I always end up using them oddly enough um also we got these little handy bookmarks yeah see I love I love their goodies so much um we also got uh puffy stickers of little books with faces on them <laughs> that's adorable um next is a short story called wings a forest um when Maya follows Sammy into the forest that surrounds their ho houses, um, the same, the last thing she expects to stumble upon is a veil of fairies. Cool, 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 cool. Mark, I love their bookmarks. Actually, one of their bookmarks I'm using in my current read. I'm using one of their bookmarks. I love their bookmarks. I was going to be devastated if there wasn't one in here. So this is the bookmark. And then it has the quote, which this one says... If you truly love a book, you should sleep with it, write in it, read aloud from it, and fill its pages with muffy, muffin crumbs and fatimin. So this is look inside for my annotation. So it obviously comes with an annotated book like all of Page Habits stuff does. Um, so look for my annotations inside and it's the author's little initial there. And it's filled with the annotations in it by the author. So this is by Megan Bannon. I have an art copy of this. Um, I got it at an event. So like I didn't request it. So I didn't like have to read it. I was going to read it. But then like I, I just haven't gotten around to it yet. And it's um, like a, it's like a historical fantasy if I remember correctly. Um, three impossible riddles. One, three impossible riddles. One dangerous secret. And I am a page habit ambassador if you don't know. So if you use my code, I'll have all that info down below. But if you use that, you can get some discounts and stuff like that. So make sure to check that out. I do quite enjoy page habits boxes and they have different genres. So this is this was the YA box, but they also have like romance, um, mystery, sci-fi, and thrillers so yeah super exciting make sure to check that out if you're interested but yes that was my unboxing this definitely boosted my mood a bit because if you can't tell by this i'm not feeling that great but this <laughs> i wanted to open this stuff for you guys so yeah i'll talk to you guys probably tomorrow the reading update
Hey guys, so it has been a day. I did not update you guys yesterday, but I didn't read much. I only ended up reading about, ooh, there we go, about 35 pages of uh, Escaping from Houdini. So, what an update other than reading. I filmed a ton of videos, which I'm super happy with, so yay for being productive. Um, I'm super excited about them. They're importing right now. I'm super excited to edit those and yeah, so I'm so happy that I got that done um, because I need to get more videos out to you guys. But now I have to clean up the huge mess that filming made and that doing makeup full face made. <laughs> Exhibit A is this. So yeah. So yeah, I just thought I'd update you guys. Hello. This is the worst thing I've ever seen. <laughs> this is not any better. <laughs> Hey guys, so it is Saturday. Shit, I don't remember the last time I updated, but I haven't made any progress on escaping from Houdini. Yay, I haven't made any progress, great. Uh, basically, I'm not in a huge rush because I am, I am enjoying it and I'm about like a hundred and a bit pages in, but it's fine. Yesterday I was out doing social things all day and some work yesterday and then by work I don't, by work I mean like work that I gotta do, like I don't have technically a job, but I mean work that I gotta do. Um, um, yesterday I got home super late, like last night I got home super late, so today I filmed a bit, I got two videos done, I just got like a really exciting business email so I'm like kind of freaking out about that, I'm so excited, anyways, <laughs> I just wanted to update you guys to say like, Hey, howdy, like I'm alive. Not much reading has happened. Um, today I have a concert and it's a festival and Three Days Grace is going to be there. And I'm so excited. So that's what I'm going to be doing all day. So yeah, I'm super excited about that. I'll probably bring the book with me, like my book with me in the car. But like, I'm so excited and I'm going with my friend. It's going to be super fun. But right now I'm going to probably edit a video, put it up because I got my Depop shop up. So I want to get my unhaul up as well. So yeah. And I'll see you guys super soon. Bye. so it is the next day I'm actually just going to be ending this vlog here I didn't do much more reading of escaping from Pandini but I'm hoping to read a little bit more tonight and I just finished editing a video so I'm gonna get that up not tonight because I uploaded a video today but I'm going to be getting that up in a few days um, just getting it scheduled and as well as I'm gonna start editing this vlog so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed it let me know down below um, comment a flower <laughs> some flower or comment flower if you stayed till the end um i hope you guys liked it i hope you guys are excited for more vlogs do let me know because i want to know yeah i think you guys like them from other feedback you guys seem to love them so let's hope you still do um but yes i'll talk to you guys super soon thank you so so much for watching and all my social media is down below and all that jazz but i'll see you all super soon bye